Welcome back to another video in our series on 2D Game Basics in Unity. In this video we're going to add in interacting with NPC characters, such as walking up to an NPC, a non-player character in our game, and being able to get a message from them, having them tell us some information uh, and such. So uh, I have added to our game here a little spider down here in the corner. He's going to be our NPC and I've set him up as an inter object in the tags. I've given him the circle collider that's a trigger so that he's got an interaction range here. So if we get within this circle here then we'll be able to talk to him. Uh, and I've given him the interaction object script uh, which we're going to have to add a little bit more to. Uh, so to set up his script, he's not an inventory item, he's not openable, he's not locked currently doesn't need any items and we're not going to uh, stick an animation on him currently so we can just kind of leave all this empty for now we are going to add in uh, the ability to to tell us that this is an object that talks to us though that has a message to give so we've got him set up ready to go we're going to go into our interaction object script and make a few alterations there so just like we've added some of these properties up here we're going to add in another public bool and these public booleans just give us a chance to toggle on and off different types of behavior for our interactable objects so this is kind of a way to, to handle a lot of things in one script so we're going to um, add one called talks if this is true then our object here can talk to the player. Okay, he's going to have a message to give. All right, and then he's also going to need a message to give. So let's put that down here. So again, we'll make a public string, and this is going to be his message. So the message this object will give the player okay when they talk to him so we can set all this up out in unity again we make these all public variables so that uh, we can set all this up out here in the inspector instead of typing in all the things in the code and that allows us to use this code for multiple objects because it's not object specific so let's give it a second to update okay so in this case we're going to check that this object is interactable and that it talks and the message that he's going to give um, is uh, we'll have him give a hint here for how to get through the door we'll have him say get the key to unlock the door so we'll type in that sentence right there so that he has that message okay so he's set up now what we're going to need to do is go back into our script and make it so that when the player walks up next to the spider here that the spider uh, when we push our interaction key will actually give his message to the player so we'll go back into our player interact script so we've got a few sections here and we're just adding more sections right here's our section for inventory here's our section about openable objects that we added in the last video so we'll go to the end of that section here which ends right here with this curly bracket they light each other up here and let's add a new section here let's just check to see if this object has a message or let's say this object talks and has a message alright so then we can just check uh, again, we're capturing these objects when we walk into their uh, collider area. We're storing the object in the current inter object. We're getting the whole game object there. And we're also at the same time just peeling the script off of that uh, and storing the script so we can talk directly to the, the, the interactable object script. So we're going to say if current interactable object script dot talks. So if that's true, 
then he's got a message to give. So um, when we're inside, again, remember, this is all inside of if we hit the interact button and we have a current object that we can interact with, we're doing all these checks. So this is all inside of there. So we're now checking for three different things. We're checking to see, can it be opened? Can it be stored in inventory? And now can it talk? Okay, so if that happens, then what we want to do is have that object give its message. So we could either um, tell the object to give its message and have it handle that in its script, or we could have, uh, we could just reach into its script and grab its message out uh, right here uh, if we want to as well. We can do that either way. Uh, maybe this time we'll have the uh, interaction object have a function that will allow it to display its message when we walk up in here and hit our interact button either way um, is fine uh, it's sometimes better to actually encapsulate our our objects a little bit more for we're not directly accessing them from one another quite as much uh, so let's look at that let's so if it talks let's uh, let's let's tell the object to give its message. All right, so we're going to actually just tell it to run a function. So since we have a, a link to its script, I can just say tell it current interactable object. And let's uh, make a function called talk over there. So we'll just say talk and that'll cause it to give its message okay so we got to make this talk function over there it, it turned this uh, to the error, error uh, color scheme here because it says we don't have a talk function on our current interactable object script so we'll save this let's go over to that script and let's add in a public void talk And what talk's going to do is it's going to display the message. Now, at some point, we'll get into doing some UI in here where we can have these on screen. For now, let's just put these in the console so we can see that they're working. So we're going to do a debug.log. And what we want it to do is just tell its entire message. So we'll say message. And that will cause the message that we gave the object, this one up here, to be displayed in our console. All right, so when we call talk, it's going to give us this message. So let's save that. Let's go back into Unity here. And then we'll zoom out here just a little bit in the scene view, but uh, we'll also be playing up here in the play view. So let's make sure I didn't miss anything. He should be all set up. All right, so let's hit play. Let's walk on down to our spider here. So we have it set up for we walk close enough uh, we get the message so currently the spider is close to us we hit our interact key being a helpful spider it told us to get the key so just like we did in the last video we can walk up and pick the key up we can walk over here now and go to the door and use the key on the door to unlock it and then hit it again to open it and we've actually built quite a bit of interaction in here that's pretty flexible into our system all right, and we can interweave these different pieces in to one another. Um, we could make it to where the spider needs an object before it'll give us the message. We can make it where NPCs uh, have an object to give us if we come up and talk to them or we have to exchange things. There's all sorts of different layers that we can mix together here with what we have. But that's your basic. Um, if you want to have an NPC in your level that uh, just gives you a message and you have to go talk to them, then that's just as easy as walking up here to him, hitting your button, and getting the message to show up in-game. All right, so this is a bit of a shorter video, uh, just adding another area in, of interaction into what we already have. Quick recap, again, what we did here is we set up our object with a new talks boolean that when we toggle true, lets us know that this, uh, this object has a message to give. We made a place to store that message, uh, and then we made this talk function that we're calling from our player interact script uh, when we get that, that button press. In our player interact script, 
we just added this little section right here, checking to see if it talks. If it does talk, then we tell it to go ahead and talk. All right, and that's all part of what happens when we push the interact button. Okay, so three different types of interaction in this one script, uh, all set up and ready to use. All right, hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment or ask me about it. And I'll be happy to help you out with whatever your questions are. And as always, have a great day.